Welcome back. Just kicking off hour two here and uh, lots going on. Uh, Dow just middling around. Bitcoin at 9,500. There's some good things happening there brewing. Um, but what's brewing on the news front, Frankie? Well, quite a bit, John. Uh, obviously, we're all watching the story involving former National Security Advisor John Bolton. Uh, I, and by the way, I want to remind everybody, I warned everybody and their mother about this guy when Trump hired him and for every single day that he was in the Trump administration. And so many Trump supporters were like, no, no, he's tough. This is what we want. They're playing good cop, bad cop. I warned you about this guy. What is the first thing he does after getting fired? Well, the first thing he does is, of course, claim that he resigned. No, you were fired. Uh, the first thing he does after being fired is write everything damaging that he can possibly think of in a tell-all book about Donald Trump. And you think, okay, maybe he's going to be a hero to the Democrats. Well, the Democrats come to him and say, hey, Mr. Bolton, we're, we're in the middle of impeachment proceedings now, and we're actually impeaching him for the very same things you're writing about. How about you come and testify yeah. before Congress come voluntarily? Come on down. John Bolton says no. So here's a guy that is not only a, first of all, he's a neocon that's wanted to bomb every country on the face of the earth at least one point in his life. Second, he was a miserable failure as national security advisor. Third, he's a total turncoat and just goes to show you, this is not about principle or country or patriotism. True. It, this is about his pocketbook. Because he knew that he couldn't sell as many books or get as hefty a book advance if he gave all the good parts about it up before a congressional hearing. So whether you love Trump, whether you can't stand Trump, or whether you're somewhere in between, everybody has got to look at this John Bolton situation and think, this guy is a real piece of work. It's time for the stash to get off the stage. And yet, yeah, ABC News... We should get a subpoena to see what's in that stash. <laughs> A a again, and I feel bad because on a personal level, John Bolton can be very nice, but and he's a good radio guest. He's always on a landline. ABC News is doing a primetime one-hour special with John Bolton uh -oh. uh, with Martha Raddatz. Now, let's say he they wrote a book. They should get Geraldo to open up his mustache yeah, well, like he opened see, up Al Capone's crypt. Now that's you funny. know what I mean? Now, that would be a TV show. That is funny. You know what I mean? He's like the shaggy DA. <laughs> you, you know? Maybe we can get, maybe we can say he's related to Aunt Jemima and we can get John Bolton canceled from the culture. Well, maybe, who's going to be the new spokesperson for that syrup? Maybe he can do it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's not the worst thing I ever heard. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> because I'll tell you what, based on what I've seen in this book and I haven't read it yet, it, he's laying it on a little thick. Uncle Mustachios. <laughs> I, I, I like it. That might destroy our whole plan to write a musical for Aunt Jemima, but... Yeah, well, I'm not sure we... I, we may not be able to get the rights to her anyway. <laughs> She's canceled. It's like Gone with the Wind. I think we can get the rights for right. free. Well, as you know, John, Saturday the president's doing this big rally in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And Anthony Fauci uh, said today, apparently, that he would not go to Trump's Tulsa rally. Uh, he wouldn't attend any big public gatherings like that, including this planned rally this weekend. He told the Daily Beast that he's in a high-risk category, so of course he would not attend. Would he attend the Black Lives Matter protest? Uh, he did not say. He did not say. Well, they didn't ask him, in fairness. It is crazy. I continue to see thousands of people, nose to nose, shoulder to shoulder, and, you know, still, I think in New York, somewhere in July, you can go to a restaurant again. It's a little crazy. Outdoor dining next Monday. I'm going to be at the Lucas in Tottenville. I've got my reservation. Hopefully I'll see you there as well. Well, we'll report back how the food is, but we're going to take a quick break and do uh, one of my favorite things after this. We're going to mix it up. Democrat, Republican, John Burnett, David Eisenbach coming at you right after this to mix it up.